Puzzles are not only a rich fine motor experience for young children, but they also give them the chance to practice some really key visual perceptual as well as cognitive skills and really bring together their understanding of how many parts make one whole. So today we're going to be talking about how to get started offering puzzles, how to spark some interest if your child doesn't seem too interested in them, as well as the milestones or age groups that we would expect children to be completing certain types and sizes of puzzles. Now, if you are on the lookout for puzzles and puzzles that are specific for your child's age group, you can check the links down below for my recommendations as an occupational therapist, the puzzles that I have enjoyed in the past and that I think are great for young children. So the age group that I like to start kind of offering puzzles is around 18 months. Some children you can start a bit earlier, but I'd say generally around 18 months we start to see the children are starting to understand this idea of things coming together. So we'll start out firstly with wooden puzzles. You want the wooden puzzle to be something like this. This one is actually a bit of a, a bigger one. I'd probably start with something with about three or four pieces. But one way to know that it's good for a young child to understand is not only about the shape, but also that the picture underneath matches the shape. You'll see as you're looking through wooden puzzles that there are some that they don't have a picture underneath. So the child is just relying on the shape to kind of fit them in. And I like to get started with these ones first, around 18 months. Now, if you see that your child also doesn't seem to have much of an interest in puzzle, you can start out with something like this, which also has the added benefit of a nice and slightly annoying song. So you'll see with these ones, it's like as you lift up the, the, the piece, it starts to sing. So this is really like a beginning stage puzzle because your child is just learning to lift out the puzzle piece. And the good news about something like this, this is from Melissa and Doug, is that there is an off, an off switch. So you can switch it off if you don't want to hear the sound. So anyway, those wooden puzzles are the place that I would start for around 18 months old. So continue with those wooden puzzles until you see that your child is really mastering them and you feel confident that they can also do them alone. One thing that I would just tell you is that when you present a puzzle, you want to, firstly I would say you want to kind of have a puzzle around or a puzzle that's in your rotation for most days so that this is something that is on offer for your child, your toddler for most days because it is a skill that needs a lot of repetition. There's a lot going on here, right? I mean, from the understanding of this shape matches that shape to the visual matching of colors to the actual fine motor ability to squeeze it into that shape and, you know, not get it in the wrong way and all of that. So there's a lot going on. We want our children to be practicing this often. And when you present a puzzle to a child, especially the wooden ones, we want to take all of the pieces out. And, and put them in like a basket or something like that on the side so that your child has something to do. So it's not just about taking the puzzle pieces out. It's also, it's, you know, the task is really to be putting them back in. So once you feel like your child has mastered these kind of wooden puzzles, what you may want to move on to is firstly the wooden puzzles that have no picture underneath and sometimes they have pieces within that need to connect. Those are also great. Or a two-piece connecting puzzle. Now, you can even DIY these with magnet tiles where you basically just put one of those Melissa and Doug like reusable stickers on the magnet tile, cut between, yes, you're gonna waste a sticker, but if your child's using it often, it's okay. And then the they have to kind of like match them up for the magnets to make a whole picture. But you can also buy, I've got some great recommendations for this below, but like those two piece puzzles where they're really just forming a picture, even if at the time they don't need to actually click in the puzzle piece, that's also okay. Again, we do want to have some of these on hand. As your child get old, gets older, you may be able to borrow puzzles from the library or things like that. But in these first little years, maybe you can swap out with a friend. So you get some of the two piece and she gets some of the wooden puzzles and you guys rotate together because you do want to have them kind of on hand, especially if your child is at home. So once you have mastered those two piece puzzles, you'll want to be looking for a three or four piece puzzle. And the milestone that we expect children to be able to do is around three years that they would be doing a three to four piece puzzle. If you want to know more about milestones in general, I have a free milestone chart 
below for ages one to four that you can come and download, which is linked below. What I generally find is that once children hit that stride of getting to a four piece puzzle, they kind of have developed the skills that they need to keep progressing. And then you'll see in the store, according to your child's age group, what puzzles match their age group and ability. This is one of those skills that I find that some children can from a very young age really, really excel at. Of course, so don't worry if your child is meeting that milestone, that's all you know. we need to be checking. But if your child is already at two years old doing like a 24 piece puzzle, which there definitely are children like that, then don't stifle them. Just carry on, you know, carry on giving them puzzles that meet their requirement, not necessarily just their age. So don't forget to go and check out the puzzles that I have linked below my recommendations and our favorite picks for puzzles. And I will see you in the next video.